Okay, so here we are with our uh, front plate. I've got a screen and adapter kit that uh, you can buy from Zeri. We're just going to go ahead and open that now. So the screen comes with a cover and we'll leave that on for now because we're going to be uh, working with the screen and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place the screen in here like so and it's not going to be flush unfortunately um, but that's okay because we're going to modify this case so that it does become flush so here we go what I'm going to do now after I lay the screen on I'm going to take a little sharpie pen here and what I want to do is what, what you want to do here is basically just kind of mark where let me see if I can get some decent lighting in here uh, we're just going to mark the plastic where the screen meets the plastic so I made a little mark there sorry about the shaky camera a mark there okay um, let me go ahead and, and also note this the screen doesn't fit perfectly in here so once you make a mark um, you need to make sure that that's exactly where you want your screen to be so let me readjust I'm gonna try to center the screen in as much as I can and then just remark right in there make my new mark same thing over here on this side making sure to actually mark there's there's actual an actually a piece of tape here I have to mark underneath there and then over on the side here as well okay so once we've done all that what we're going to then do is put, putting the screen aside I'm going to cut away from here all the way to here and leave only this piece here. Okay? So that's going to be gone here, over here, and this is going to be gone. Okay, there's one more mark because I've decided to try to align the screen in the middle it's going to be on the far edge here okay and the way I've marked it is such that this edge here the far sorry the far left side of that red mark is where I want to make my cuts okay so let's put the pin to the side there and I'm going to use just a Stanley X-Acto knife um, the edge is pretty sharp and to make my cuts I'm just going to lightly press down okay now remember for here I want to I want to be on this side of, of that mark as opposed to on the right side okay and just find a play uh, find a uh, an angle that's comfortable and just press down lightly here you don't need to do it hard and just be patient press down slowly okay All right um, same thing over here okay I'm gonna press down okay and now I'm actually not hitting this bottom layer here. I'm basically just making a, essentially uh, an incision and we'll get to how to cut away the plastic there. So same thing over here. All right. Now on over to the other side.
Okay, this one's a little trickier. And then lastly, this one. Okay, so I've basically just put in some grooves, and now what I want to do is I want to, well, I'm going to shorten my knife a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to slide this this way, along that way, very lightly, while pressing into the plastic. And we're going to do this a couple of times, so don't try to get it all done all, all in one, uh, one cut, because otherwise you're going to mess it up. Uh, just take your time. Okay. Now there's a, a bit of thick plastic right there, so I'm going to have to use just a little more force than usual. And be very careful so that you don't cut yourself. And then just kind of skip over that in a little bit. Okay. So, let's see if we can zoom in on, and focus. So you, there you can see where I've made my cuts. And I'm going to go back and, and uh, rescore this, this part right here because it, it's not precise. And we want it it's essentially flat. So we just rescore. Now that there, there's a big thick piece of plastic there, so I'm just gonna pick my knife up and kind of skip over it for now. And just keep doing this until eventually this plastic is just gonna give away. Alright. Okay. After you've scored it a couple times. Try to flatten out your, your knife while you're cutting so that you don't end up making a, uh, a deep groove into the, into the front plate. Okay. Now, no heavy forceful cutting necessary. We're just taking our time to slowly cut into the groove. Okay. All right, let me go grab a pair of pliers and then we're going to apply a little bit of pressure to help uh, loosen that piece of plastic. Alright, here we are. Just taking a pair of pliers and just gently, very gently, you can hear a little bit of the cr of cracking because you know because the, the plastic is starting to break away. Again, don't force anything. If you want to make this a, a, a clean cut, then take your time. Okay? Don't put your hands here because if you slip, you can see what happens. Instead, uh, and if you need to, Put a piece of cloth over here and just press down so you don't end up cutting yourself.
right, see, it's starting to break away, right? Okay, looks like I need to do a little deeper cut over here. And uh, so just a few more seconds and it should be good. Now, eventually, this needs to be as smooth as possible. And what we're going to do to make it as smooth as possible is we're going to use this little tool here. And it's basically just a razor blade. Um, this one's kind of nice in that I've got something to, to easily hold on to the blade. And we just want to scrape and keep it basically clean and level. So there's a little bit of extra plastic there. And again, don't cut in such a way that you're going to cut into your fingers, okay? okay? And now you understand why I remove the lens there, because if this tilts over here, then I'm going to end up putting some deep scratches into the, into the lens. Okay. So it's that little knob there that's giving me a, a hard time trying to smooth this out, but patience is key. And we'll go back and smooth that out more if necessary. You could at this point use sandpaper if you want. Um, completely up to you. So now I'm going to try to score this piece here just enough so that I can use the pliers to pry it out. Again, take your time. See if, uh, if this is any easier to, to use. Okay, there's not that much maneuvering room, but again, you just want to be patient with this. So this is probably going to take me quite a while to finish. I'm going to go ahead and do this off screen, but you kind of have the idea here. Later on, we're also going to need to to scrape off this, and you can also. Again, use the, this, um, this blade here to get rid of these edges. Okay, so I've actually scraped it off and I've actually put the screen on. And just to show you, if you do it right, you can make it tight enough so that this... So here, first, the screen is entirely flush. And using only friction, the screen is, is being held in place, you know, here, I'm shaking it, and no issues, okay? So that's a really good fit. All right, we're going to eventually want to remove this layer, okay? And um, But for now, let's go ahead and jump to uh, assembling the other half.